Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to Keeping Up With Crypto with your boy Xander. I've got another good one for you today. We're gonna go over that three-prong currency, a better known as Ripple or XRP. As you guys know, it's been popping a little bit lately, but then again, so has everything. Look at this market cap all the way back up to $632 billion. Oh, that's such a refreshing sight to see. I hope all of y'all are doing well with your investments now, and if you held for the long term, then you're doing amazing. Uh, if you had a weak hand and you uh, sold all your stuff because you got scared, sorry guys, but that's what happens when you don't hodl, you know? So, I mean, it's already jumped up $200 billion from its 600, about, it was at sitting at about 430, $440 billion at its lowest and stuff. So, this is a really nice recovery to see. But moving on, everything's kind of just sitting in the green. We're getting a whole sea of green, which is uh, just a really nice sight to see. You can see all these huge dips and then coming back up, dip, coming back up, dip, coming back up. This is a really nice one right here. And let's talk about Ripple. Ripple, if you guys don't know, is like the most centralized coin there is. And that's due to the fact that there is 100 billion in supply of Ripple, but only about 39 billion out in circulation. And this has proven to be very controversial between a lot of people and a lot of you guys out there because a lot of y'all like the decentralizedness of cryptocurrency and how like Bitcoin, almost every single coin is out there so they can't manipulate the price if they wanted to. They can't just dump coins on there. Like Ripple could technically, uh, like if let's say Ripple put in another 20 or let's say they doubled it so they put in 39 billion more coins overnight that would make ripple's price go from 100 and, i mean one dollar and 62 cents to half of that sitting at approximately like what is that like 70 or is that 80 81 cents that would piss off a lot of people guys and only thing is though guys that's not really going to happen um ripples on contracts uh, multiple contracts saying that they can only sell off so many and put so many into circulation and that they're going to start putting a certain amount per year and um, just constantly putting out a small amount. So it's not really going to affect the price too much, but slowly but surely the total supply and the circulating supply will be, get closer and closer to each other and it'll become more decentralized over time. A big thing they have also been talking about in Ripple is the CEO. Let's go check out their website real quick. This guy right here, uh, Brad Gillen, uh, I think it's Gillen House. Gillen House? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but he's the guy that runs the whole organization, and uh, he supposedly holds about nine billion dollars worth making him like the first not the first billionaire obviously but the fastest like growing to a billionaire so rapidly because of how ripple grew so quickly and his uh the amount of ripple that he holds grew so quickly and that's how he was able to do it but from brad he says that uh his money or the amount of ripple he holds is the company's money and not his own so he kind of denies that the, rip, the ripple that he holds is his and that he's that rich. And he also does not have the ability to just sell it off anyways um, contractually. So he can't just sell all of it. So therefore, and like we always say, you don't make profits unless you sell it. So the only way he'd be able to do that is to sell it off very slowly. And that takes a lot of time. And uh, and when I say the $9, uh, $9 billion, I think that was whenever it was sitting at $3 worth. So it's probably about half of that, $4.5 and it was a little bit higher than that at one point whenever it was at 360 something like that and this is the rest of the team if you guys ever want to go check it out it's a weird looking guy right there look at that oh, spot. anyways um ripple sitting at 162 honestly not the worst buy i've ever seen um i originally bought ripple down back down at 24 cents guys you know we've been talking about ripple for a while let's see Yeah, I bought it closer to around here, right here, right before that big jump. And then it shot up to about a dollar. And I 
think that's when I sold. It was about a dollar, and I think I rebought back in at eighty four, and then sold it again once it hit like two sixty three dollar range, something like that. I was like, okay, this is getting a little crazy. It's uh, I made so many major gains off of it, and then I sold it again, and it went. And as you guys know, due to that uh, market crash, it went from three eighty four all the way back down below a dollar, which is insane that kind of sucks for anybody because they have a third of their money that they had whenever they were at or a fourth almost of their money whenever it was at 384 hopefully you sold it up here and then decided to rebuy it up here because i rebought it about uh just below just before it dropped below a dollar because i didn't know if it would or not i think i bought it at like a dollar and five cents or something so already seeing about a 50 percent um return on that if i sold it right now sitting at a dollar 62 um, I still think this is not a terrible buying opportunity, even though it is at a $62 billion market cap. We've already seen, like we said, guys, we've already seen Ripple hit over like $140, $150 billion market cap. Let's see where it was the market cap. Yeah, $141 billion, $148 billion market cap. So it has, it still technically has room to grow. Now, whether you think it's overvalued or not, that's up to you. Do your own research. This is not professional advice. But in my opinion, I think $1.62 is not a terrible buy. I think I will hold on to it until it hits probably around $3.60 again, passing it maybe $4 or $5, and then I would sell off and try to fork it into something else. But I think Ripple still has a lot of potential from where it's at. Plus, the fact is, there's the rumors, guys. Rumors aside, actually, they are, they just, they did just partner up with, I think it was American Express and that was huge for them that's a big company and bank for them to be part of and um, they have rumors of a lot more coming in the future of possibly getting on with amazon anything that partners with amazon you guys is just going to absolutely explode if it partnered with amazon i think it has the legitimate possibility of passing bitcoin i think that is uh possible sitting at a t 62 billion dollar market cap uh bitcoin sitting at 219 uh, billion dollar market cap that seems like a big jump but i think that's the power of amazon amazon is just just ridiculously big and i think any currency that would be able to be used on there would just jump that big um ripple also as we've said in the past and many other youtubers and many a lot of people believe that ripple has the possibility of being put on to coinbase and if it does you guys already know that coinbase is one of the most popular places to buy any cryptocurrency if you're especially if you're new you don't have a binance or a cryptopia those are a little more complicated coinbase is easy there's only four things on there as of now but if ripple gets on there super easy to get it and people are going to look at it just like with a litecoin whenever it's like 50 bucks people are like well i can't afford a bitcoin because you know it's freaking uh you know, fifteen thousand dollars. I can't afford an Ethereum because it's seven hundred dollars. But I can, I can get a, I can get a Litecoin for fifty bucks. You know, I can get a couple Litecoin actually. So they're excited about that. And then once they see a Ripple, you know, if it's on there and at, let's say, let's say it's at two dollars, they're like, man, I can get a bunch of Ripple. And as soon as it hits there, I think people are gonna buy it up. Just also, they're gonna buy the hype just because it hit Coinbase. A ton of people are gonna buy it. Just buy it, buy, it, buy, it, buy, it, buy. It. And then continue to buy it because of the hype and also because of how cheap it is and also because new people who don't really know what they're doing are going to buy it because it's cheap and just so much so much hype so many people are just going to jump on that train and ride it out i can see it hitting seven dollars from there five seven all the way up to ten within the next month couple months after it hits coinbase i think that's a possibility now, whether it's guaranteed to happen, obviously not. I don't have a crystal ball, guys, but I think it's a possibility. And that's why I am currently investing into Ripple. And I think that you should check it out, do some research on it, and think about investing yourself. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that subscribe button, hit a like, and then comment in the bottom on the next coin review you want us to do or if there's any video that you like or any kind of content that y'all want from us because we love listening to you guys and hearing your positivity down below if anything you know share it with your friends guys our videos are getting pretty popular i really like where our uh channel is going and uh just really love you guys thanks sir thanks for you know making this possible for us go check us out on instagram on keeping up with crypto yo and uh i'll see you in the next video guys see you later